Last week we finished off the interior, so this week it was time to move on to doing some chassis, engine, and finishing work all together. So first of all, I started by adding a couple of coats of primer to all the various different parts, and then later on gave it some different colors all over the place on every single piece. While all those parts received some time to dry, I moved on to detailing the windows. Now first of all, I just laid down some masking tape, then ran a pin around the edge and marked it off where I needed to cut it with a knife so I knew where to remove the masking tape and paint that black edge. After finishing off the masking, I moved on to applying three light coats of the Phileo Flat Black, waiting about 15 minutes in between coats and just adding it super thin so I didn't really add a thick edge around the masking tape or build up too much paint. Just thin is the way to go and rather one coat more than one coat too thick. Now for the rest of the detailing, I added various black parts around all the other pieces to simulate some rubbers and maybe give it a bit of a different texture than the painted parts from the airbrush. And on the headlights, I detailed it out with a super fine brush as well to give it a really nice two-tone look and simulate the actual headlight unit. Alongside those black details, there were also obviously some silver details needed as well. So I took out my brush, some Vallejo paints, and moved on to applying a couple of coats of silver around various different pieces. The entire engine block was painted in one shade of silver. Now there is a lot of detail in this engine block straight from the kit, so I kind of wanted to show that by giving it a bit more depth and a bit more dirty looking stuff by adding some Tamiya Paneline accent color all over the place. 
And for the exhaust, I painted that in a different tone of silver, but it could also use a bit more just to give it a bit of a better or used look by adding some Tamiya weathering. After spending tons of hours on the bodywork adding the carbon fiber decals, I thought I'd just finish it off on the engine cover by adding the final piece of carbon fiber for this build. and pieces now detailed I could move on to assembling. I just assembled all these pieces with some super glue as that works the best together with the paint and the parts to have, help it stick easily and not have to wait or even be uh, worried about ruining the paint with some cement. So super glue is the way I go on painted pieces. Now that all the engine and rear chassis pieces are put together, I finished it off with a final McLaren decal on the engine cover. With that all said and done, I moved on to more of the chassis, finishing off the front and rear assemblies and gluing those together. To finish the chassis assembly off, I glued on the interior and the dashboard to that interior as well, set that aside and moved on to applying a couple of pieces to the body in order to make that chassis and body marriage happen. So before I could do that, I needed to glue on a couple of clear parts on a rear piece that needed to be glued into the body from the underside. And then I could also add some of the headlights and other pieces all around and then finally could move on to putting the chassis and body together. When putting the body and chassis together, one thing to note is that the dashboard needs to come over a sort of ridge in the front piece where the wipers also are. If you don't put it on top, the chassis won't fit together. It is a bit of a snug, snug fit, but in the end it works out perfectly and snaps together really easily once you know where to put which piece. 
So with that body now ready for all the other pieces to be glued on, I could move on to assembling the door, adding the glass, adding the inner door panel, and that final piece on the door to finish that off, and then I could just glue it in. The passenger door I just glued in straight away and the driver's side door I just showed how to put it in and took a couple of photos with the finished model with the door up then removed that hinge because it wasn't really that super strong and just glued it in shut as I kind of like that better than the open doors. On the rear panel you obviously have the rear lights and also some reflectors and I didn't really like the way that Ravel did it. They add a decal to the decal sheet which is just plain red. So the way I did it is just apply a piece of bare metal foil, took out a permanent red marker, uh, applied that to the bare metal foil, cut it to shape and removed the excess material to have a perfectly nice reflector on the back. With those final details now done, I could add the side mirrors as well and move on to lowering the car by removing the tabs from the brake discs so I can place the brake disc on the hub a bit lower than the stock ride height and set it in the perfect center with the wheel and have it the correct offset. After gluing that final headlight lens, this build was wrapped up. Just to sum it up, I used a lot of carbon fiber decals and changed the wheels, added some seat belts and left the rest pretty much box stock. It is a really nice build. It can be done with a bit of patience, but it just needs a bit of finagling all over the place. The doors don't fit perfectly and the wheels leave something to be desired for. So that's what I changed, that's what I tried to fix, and in the end I came out with a fantastically good looking model. It's not perfect in no way, shape or form, but I'm really happy with the way that it came out. Tomorrow I will show some clean final pictures in the slideshow.